गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स साई राम वेलकम टू एक्टिव इंग्लिश क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इन एक्टिव इंग्लिश वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वन मोर न्यू चैप्टर सो आर यू ऑल रेडी टू सी समथिंग टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू इन एक्टिव इंग्लिश ओके सो विल स्टार्ट विथ अवर चैप्टर बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विल सी फ्यू सेंटेंसेस आर यू ऑल रेडी ओके Now can you see this picture in this picture the girl is talking to the boy yes or no we know their names no we don't know their names so let's give them some name okay so the girl name is maya and the boy name will give raj okay so maya is talking to raj okay maya is talking to raj now we have given them name but instead of our uh, instead of their name we can use a uh, pronoun like he she her him yes or no so instead of our na- uh, instead of their name we have used your pronoun in the sentence so how will read the sentence she is talking to him how we will read the sentence she is talking to him and if we will give them name how will how we will say maya is talking to raj but here we have not used their name that is name means we have not used their proper noun we have used your we have used your pronoun that is what are pronouns she and him instead of our name instead of their name we have used your pronoun yes or no so how we will read the sentence now she is talking to him okay now we'll see the next sentence have you see can you see in this picture one boy he is playing with a car and where he is playing on the table and that boy name is prem so prem is standing on the table he is standing on it now this boy his name is prem and he is standing on the table so instead of his name we have used here in the second sentence we have used the pronoun he yes or no he is a boy his name is prem but instead of his name in the place of his name we have used the pronoun he yes or no and in the place of the word table we have used the pronoun it what we have used the pronoun it okay so how you will read the second sentence he is standing on it now in the first sentence we have used the name we have used the name of that boy we have used the name of that thing on which prem is standing but in the second sentence that is he is standing on it he means instead of his name we have used the pronoun that is he and instead of that particular thing name we have used the pronoun it okay now we'll see one more sentence the boy is playing with the girls now can you see in this picture the boy is playing with the girls now in this picture one boy is playing with two girls yes or no so we know that he is a boy so for boy which pronoun we use he he him his yes or no so instead of this we are using here the pronoun he which pronoun we are using he he is playing with them so your two girls are playing so for more than two things or more than two person which word we are going to use which pronoun we are going to use them which pronoun them now you will think what teacher exactly want to teach us yes students today we are going to see 
some of the sentences which are having pronouns like me, you, him, her, it, us, them. These are nothing but pronoun. All these are called as pronoun. Means we are not going to use name of that person or the name of that thing. Instead of that we are going to use pronoun. What we are going to use? Pronoun. Suppose when we are talking about ourselves, we are going to use the word me or you. When we are talking about ourselves, we are going to use the pronoun me or you. When we are talking about any other boy, we are going to use him. Any other girl, we are going to use the word her. When we are talking about a thing, that time we are going to use the pronoun it. Okay. And us also. For us means when we are talking about more than one person. More than one. One person, that time we are going to use the pronoun us. Which pronoun we are going to use? Us. When we are talking about a mob of people, that means a group of people, that time we are going to use the pronoun them. Which pronoun? Them. So, when to use this pronoun words and where to use, I will teach you. So, shall we start? Today we are going to see me, you, him, her, it, us and them in the sentences. Today we are going to see this pronouns. Okay and how to use this pronouns. So are you all ready? Shall we start? Okay. Now put a ring around the right word. You have to circle Ring means you have to circle the proper pronoun which match with that sentence. To complete that sentence, you have to select proper pronoun. You have to select proper pronoun and you have to circle that pronoun. Are you all ready? Okay. We'll see. Now, I am standing next to she. Is the sentence framing properly? I am standing next to she. No. I am standing next to her. Is the sentence framing properly? I am standing next to her. You also try to repeat along with teacher. I am standing next to her. Is the sentence framing properly? Okay, we'll see one more option. I am standing next to he. No. Suppose we are talking about some other person. That time we are using the word. Suppose we are talking about some other girl or a boy. That time we are using the word his, her. Okay, this pronoun we are using. So, which pronoun is correct here? Her. Which pronoun is correct? Her. So, how you will read the sentence? I am standing next to her. How you will read the sentence? I am standing next to her. Suppose, when we are talking about the other person, that time we will use the word his, her. Yes or no? So, here I am standing next to some girl. I am standing next to one girl. Okay. So, instead of that girl, I, I don't know the name of that girl. So, instead of that, I have used the pronoun that is her. Which pronoun I have used here? Which pronoun is correct? Her. So, I am standing next to her. Now, we will see the next example. We are listening to he. Is the sentence framing properly? We are listening to he. No. We are listening to him. We are listening to we. 
so we and he are not fitting in the sentence yes or no they are not framing the sentence properly so which word we can use here let's see him which pronoun is correct here him we are listening to him suppose there is one boy who is talking to a group of people okay so that group of people are saying we are listening to him instead of his name they are using the pronoun him what pronoun they are using him so how you will read the sentence we are listening to him so which pronoun is correct here him we are listening to him now we'll see the next example she is carrying it she is carrying he she is carrying i so which pronoun is correct here suppose there is one girl for girl we are using the pronoun she okay so that girl she is carrying something in her hand for she is carrying something with in her hand for that we we will use the pronoun he no we will use the pronoun i no for thing which pronoun we are using here which pronoun is correct yes it suppose we are talking about something or some object that time we are using the pronoun it which pronoun we are using it so how you will read this sentence she is carrying it how you will read the sentence she is carrying it one more time she is carrying it so which pronoun is correct here it which pronoun is correct it now we'll see the next example he is helping we he is helping we is the sentence framing properly no na then we'll use see the next pronoun he is helping they he is helping they is the sentence framing properly no he is helping us he is helping us is the sentence framing properly yes so which pronoun you will circle here us which pronoun is correct us because there is one person who is helping all the group means he is helping the people who are in that group and that group of people are saying that he is helping us that group of people are saying suppose there is one person there is one man who is helping a group of people so that group of people are saying he is helping us instead of we they which pronoun is correct here the pronoun is us so how you will read this sentence now he is helping us now we'll see the next example he is sitting near i is the sentence framing properly no he is sitting near v is the sentence framing properly no he is sitting near me yes the sentence is framing yes or no so which pronoun you will circle here me which pronoun me suppose i am sitting somewhere so and one person is sitting near me so how i will tell how i will tell to other person he is sitting near me how i will tell to my friend that that man is sitting near me how i will tell he is sitting near me how i will tell he is sitting 
near me. Okay. So, how you will read the sentence? He is sitting near me. So, which pronoun is correct here? Me. Now, we will see next sentence. She is talking to they. Is the sentence pro framing properly? Let's see. She is talking to them. Is the sentence framing properly? Think. One more option we'll see. She is talking to we. Is the sentence framing properly? No. So which pronoun is correct here? Them. She is talking to them. Suppose there is one woman and she is talking to a group of people and that woman friend is telling to some other person and then how they will talk then how they uh, that friend will say she is talking to them how suppose teacher is talking to a group of students okay and one of your friend will tell to other friend that teacher is talking to them so instead of the word teacher they will use she so how you will say she is talking to them instead of teacher is talking to students what we will read what what, what pronoun we will use here she is talking to them i am talking to a group of students na so in that in, a, in for that group i will use the word them what we will use them so how you will read the sentence she is talking to them how you will read the sentence she is talking to them suppose your teacher is talking to a group of students and you one of your friend go and tell to other teacher that how you how that student will go and tell other teacher how that suppose that teacher asks what your teacher is doing so how you will answer she is talking to the students in the place of students which word we are using here them which word them so how you will read the sentence she is talking to them okay now we'll see some other example she is pointing to you is the sentence framing properly okay we'll see one more option she is pointing to they is the sentence pro framing properly no na one more option we'll see she is talking to V. Is the sentence framing properly? No. So which pronoun is correct here? You. She is talking to you. Suppose one of your friend is there and that friend is telling you. See, teacher is talking to you. So in the place of, in the name, in the place of the word teacher, we are using here she. Suppose one of your friend is there and that friend is telling Maya is talking to you. In the place of the name, in the place of her name, Maya, we are using she. So, how you will read the sentence? She is pointing to you. How you will read the sentence? She is pointing to you. In the place of her name, we have used the word she. And the place of your name, we have used the word you. Which pronoun we have used here? Students, we have seen which pronoun we have to put a circle. Yes or no? We have seen the examples in, uh, in examples of the sentence in which we have to put a circle to the correct pronoun. Now we will see some examples in which we have to write this pronoun in which we have to write me, you, him, her, it, us or them. 
विच एव प्रनाउन इज करेक्ट और विच एव प्रनाउन इज सुटेबल टू दैट सेंटेंस दैट वी हैव टू राइट ओके वी हैव टू फिल इन दैट ब्लैंक ओके इन द इन द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल्स वी हैव सर्कल द प्रनाउन वी हैव सर्कल द करेक्ट प्रनाउन बट इन द सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल्स वी आर गोइंग टू फिल दैट करेक्ट प्रनाउन सो आर यू ऑलरेडी शेल वी स्टार्ट ओके फर्स्ट आई हैव एन एप्पल माय मदर गेव इट टू डैश आई हैव एन एप्पल माय मदर गेव इट टू टू होम यू यू ऑलरेडी हैव एन एप्पल हु गेव इट टू यू योर मदर यस ऑ नो सो हाउ यू विल रीड द सेंटेंस आई हैव एन एप्पल my mother gave it to give it to me which pronoun we are going to write here me i have an apple my mother gave it to me which pronoun me okay now we'll see the next example listen to miss Rao, she is talking to Dash. Listen to Miss Rao. She is talking to Dash. Suppose there is one lady, her surname is Rao. Okay, and she is talking to. She is talking with you. Okay, she is talking with you. So in the first sentence, we have used her. name but in the second sentence we have used her pronoun that is she okay she is talking to with whom she is talking she is talking with she is talking to you with whom teacher is talking teacher is talking with you so same listen to mrs rao she is talking to you which pronoun we are going to use here you which pronoun we have used you listen to miss rao she is talking to you with whom miss rao is talking she is talking to you okay we have used the pronoun you now we'll see next example this is prem this is prem i am standing next to dash now i am standing next to prem yes or no i have introduced my friend see this is prem i have already introduced my friend this is prem and i am i am standing next to instead of prem prem's name which pronoun we are using here him which pronoun him see i am telling my friend this is prem i am standing next to him what i am telling to my friend this is prem i am standing next to him in the place of his name again to use his name i don't want to use his name again so in the place of his name i have used the pronoun him which pronoun i have used here him okay now we'll see next sentence this is maya i am standing next to we have already seen one sentence like this yes or no so i am telling my friend see this is maya i am standing next to which pronoun we are using here her which pronoun her i am talking about maya yes or no i am standing next to her so i i am not using her name again in the place of her name i am using the pronoun her which pronoun i am using her so how i will read the sentence this is maya 
I am standing next to her. Okay. Now we will see next example. Please sit on the chair. Don't stand on dash. See, I am pleasing someone. I am requesting someone. Please sit on the chair. Don't stand on dash. Suppose when we are talking about something or some object, that time which pronoun we are using? Think. Yes, we are using the pronoun it. So, how you will read this sentence now? Please sit on the chair. Don't stand on it. Please sit on the chair. Don't stand on it. So, in I don't, I am not using the word chair again. In the place of that word chair, I have used the pronoun it. I am not using that object name here again. In the place of that object name, I am using the pronoun it. What pronoun I am using here? It. Now we will see the next example. We are listening to the teacher. She is telling dash a story. We are listening to the teacher. We all. Yes or no? She is telling dash a story. Now your which pronoun we will be using? He, him, his, they, them, us, us. Let's see. Yes. We are listening to the teacher. She is telling us a story. Now you will tell your friend. We all means you all students are listening to teacher. Yes or no? And what teacher is doing? She is telling us a story. How you will tell to your friend? We are listening to the teacher. She is telling us. For, for she is telling us a story. When we are talking about a group, that time we use the pronoun us. Which pronoun we use? Us. Yes or no? When we are talking about ourselves, our group, that time we are talking, we are using the pronoun us. When we are talking about a group and in that group you are there. You are there in that group. That time we use the word us. Which pronoun we use? Us. So how you will read? We are listening. We means you are also there in that group. Yes or no? So, when you are there in that group, so you will use the word we. We are listening to the teacher. Suppose you three students are there. So, how you will tell teacher? We are listening to the, we are listening to the teacher. She is telling us a story. I am telling to you all, na? Friends, we have seen where to put correct pronoun also and how to frame the sentence. So, based on all this, we will do one small activity. Okay. So, in this activity, you have to fill the correct pronoun. So, this is your homework. This activity is for your homework. Okay. So, shall we start? Okay. Fill in the blank with correct option given in the bracket. So, you have to choose the correct pronoun from that bracket and you have to fill in that blank. Okay, this is for your homework. We will, we will see this activity. Okay, this is for your homework. You will do this activity in your homework. Our first sentence, please sit on the table, don't stand on dash. So, which pronoun is correct here? 
इट हिम और हर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम ऑब्जेक्ट सो विच प्रोनाउन इज करेक्ट यर येस इट विच प्रोनाउन इज करेक्ट इट सो हाव यू विल रीड द सेंटेंस प्लीज सेट ऑन द टेबल डोंट स्टैंड ऑन इट सो विच प्रोनाउन यू विल चूज फ्रॉम द ब्रैकेट इट ओके नाव यू विल राइट द आंसर फॉर दिस विल सी द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस लिसन टू माया शी इज टॉकिंग टू डैश दे इट और यू सपोज माया इज टॉकिंग विथ यू सो हाव यू विल विच प्रोनाउन इज करेक्ट य माया इज टॉकिंग विथ यू सो विच प्रोनाउन इज करेक्ट यस यू एंड हाव यू विल राइट दिस सेंटेंस लिसन टू माया शी इज टॉकिंग टू यू शी इज टॉकिंग टू यू नाव यू विल फिल द आंसर इन दिस ब्लैंक ओके विल सी द नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस we are listening to sir he is telling dash story now the option pronoun options are it they us we are listening to sir that means you are also there in that group we are listening to sir he is telling which pronoun is correct here yes us which pronoun us so how you will read the sentence we are listening to sir he is telling us story we are listening to sir he is telling us story so you will fill the answer in the blank place we'll see next sentence Mira has a puppy. Puppy means small dog. Yes or no? Mira has a puppy. She is carrying dash them you it. Now we all know when we are talking about some thing, object or animal or place, which pronoun we are using? Yes. It. Which pronoun? it so how you will read the sentence mira has a puppy she is carrying it how you will read the sentence mira has a puppy she is carrying it you will write the answer for this students i hope you all must have understood today's chapter do one thing revise this chapter one more time and try to do this activity we have discussed the answers of the activity so try to solve this activity we'll see new chapter in the next period till then thank you